Hello, hello, Mom and Dad Meat World. So I wanted to show you how you could hook up a couple Thunderbolt displays to your M4 MacBook Air. So this is the 13-inch M4 MacBook Air. This is the base model. And years ago, the 13-inch was only capable of hooking up pretty much one external display with the built-in display on the actual computer itself. So what we're gonna do, uh, this is gonna be our first time doing it. So if there are any hiccups, well, you're gonna get to see. But one of the things we, we will get, well, that we've already got, we've got the Thunderbolt displays back here. And so I've just got the two Thunderbolt displays, what you call daisy chain to each other. So on the back of every single Apple Thunderbolt display, there is actually an input for a Thunderbolt 2 it looks like mini display port but what you do is you take the the mini display port thunderbolt 2 cable that comes directly from the apple thunderbolt display and you plug it directly in to the back of the other monitor and then what you do with that one and you can see here i've got this taped up this is actually what the the cable looks like and it actually has a MagSafe, the original MagSafe one adapter. And all I've done is I've taped up the adapter with electrical tape, and then I've got it hooked up to a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter that you can see right here. So this Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter on this side right here, that is the input. That's what it looks like on the back of those monitors. That is the Thunderbolt 2 adapter. Also looks like mini display port, but don't get that mistaken because this is indeed a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter. This is Apple's own genuine Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter. So, and so let us actually flip on the computer. So we'll just touch ID in. Again, this is the very first time we're doing this. So because the MacBook Air, and if you take a look at that MacBook Air right there, you're gonna see right here that MagSafe on one end, and then you've got the two Thunderbolt 4 ports. So I will say that Thunderbolt 4 is backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 2, especially if you've got the Thunderbolt 2 to th Thunderbolt 3 adapter right here. So we've got this unlocked right now. So let us hook this up. So what I'm going to do right here is just one cable with the two monitors. And these Apple Thunderbolt displays, there's no power cable on them. So what they'll do is they will literally just turn on. So plugging it in, here it snap into place. So again, first time, hopefully it does work. Allow accessory to connect. That is what it's saying right here. And all we're gonna do on this end is we are gonna say, yes, we are going to allow the accessory to connect. And what it should do, there's a display on that one. And you can see the display popped on that one. Again, one cable. So instead of using two cables, we're just using one cable. So one monitor is plugged into the other monitor. And then that cable from the other monitor is using this adapter right here, this Apple Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3, which has got that cable right there. And then we're just plugging in one cable directly to the 13 inch M4 MacBook Air. So three displays, 1440p, 2560 by 1440 each on these monitors. And yeah, that is very, very nice. And then the cool thing too, is your sound can actually display off of these right here. So I don't know, let's see if we have anything to, to play for you. And I think I might because, well, this is what we are, this is what we are using it for. So let me hit play on this. So this is from our other YouTube video on the M4 MacBook Air, the initial impressions. So I'm able to use my volume control on the MacBook and sound is coming out from that monitor right there. All right, quiet down, quiet down you. But yeah, that's actually, actually what's going on. So you're able to control your audio and it will come out through here. And then you can actually, you can actually tell it which, so you've got MacBook Air speakers, display audio one, display audio two. 
because you can get you can choose which which monitor you want your sound to come from and if the display does not look correct you can always go into your settings and then when you go into your settings you can always go into your displays you go into your displays you hit the arrange button and then when you hit arrange you can tell it where you want it so what we're going to do here is we are just going to tell it where we want it right here but long and short there you go this is the macbook air m4 macbook air base model hooked up to two external displays in the form of apple thunderbolt displays and just how easy it was to do that one cable and then you've still got an additional thunderbolt 4 usb-c port to add any peripherals you want and keep in mind there are usb2 ports on these monitors themselves because apple thunderbolt displays are very very versatile monitors so built-in speaker built-in webcam although you're going to need a lot of light for the built-in webcam because it is an older webcam but you have the webcam there in case you need it and then the speakers do sound great so they sound very very good on these thunderbolt displays and yeah you've got usb-c ports on the back along with ethernet so if you want gigabit ethernet plug directly in they are also on the back of these Apple Thunderbolt displays and they can be had for about $100 or less depending on where you find them used. I have even seen them at thrift stores pop in between like $40 to $70 depending on the condition. So if you like these displays, they are a good alternative to use with your M4 MacBook Air, especially if you need external displays, you don't want to spend too much and you're getting a M4 entry-level MacBook Air, but yet you could want more immersive displays for when you are at home. This is a very, very inexpensive alternative to do so. And I like, really, really genuinely like these displays. Now, if you have a Mac Studio display and you've got, basically it's the same resolution, except with the Retina, they just double the resolution. So you're not actually seeing any sort of like pixels it looks super duper sharp but if you don't use a retina display every day like the 5k retina display and you're gonna stay like a pretty good distance away from your monitor these displays will be just fine they are just as sharp i i think they are but again that's my own opinion especially for the price so all right so take a look at this i just arranged it to where i had wanted it tweaked a little bit while not being on camera recording to not waste your time but here we go so i've got final cut pro on one i have got the apple website on the other then we've got apple tv uh just apple tv on this other screen so one two three screens on the m4 macbook air 13. wow what a powerhouse this computer really truly it all right i've rambled on too long if you like this video you know what to do like share comment subscribe and uh yeah just wanted to show you an alternative way to hook up two displays to your m4 macbook air still have magsafe for charging still have an additional usb c thunderbolt 4 port in case you need that also all right thanks for watching until next time bye for now